Hey everyone, you're watching the Voscoin YouTube channel. I'm here with Joey, and today we're building an 8X RX 580 rig on a riserless motherboard setup. It's gonna be pretty exciting. Miss Voss doesn't think that this rig is heavy, so I said, okay, hold it for five minutes. Three minutes in, <laughs> looks like her arms are shaking. They're not shaking. Her arms are shaking, but you know what? I'm feeling good. I got this popsicle. Joey, you got a popsicle? Yeah, oh, man. Joey, we're 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 cooling it. We're Chill. chilling. <laughs> oh, I look stressful. That's a full rig. She says that this rig isn't heavy, so we said uh, hold it for five minutes. She did hold it for five minutes, but look at her. her arms are shaking. Her knees are weak. She's got mom spaghetti on her shirt. But guess what? Me and Joey. We're cooling it right Shit now. Hard. We, you know, Tails even has ice cream. You guys ever seen dog ice cream? Look at this. It's dog ice cream. Today we're gonna be using eight RX 580s. These are the eight gigabyte versions. They are the MSI Armor MK2s. These cards seem pretty sweet and they have a nice back plate, which is gonna be great for resale, which is, uh, I wanna make the point here, this is why GPUs are so valuable as opposed to the ASIC miners. They've got great resale to, well, gamers and anyone else who likes a cool looking GPU. We got these from a, a uh, Best Buy sale, and they're running these, this is pretty wild. These are 250 bucks a piece. That's a crazy price point for RX 580, eight gigabytes. And that's brand new in box shipped from Best Buy. Obviously we had to pay tax, but technically you're supposed to pay tax anywhere in the US. Doesn't matter if you buy it online. For the actual build, we're using a pre-built box. This is the one that Mining Cave offers that right now is 100 CAD, which actually doesn't really make it a bad deal. That's a pretty good deal. You think plug and play out of the box, like you could take this box out of the box and you've got a plug and play mining rig. Add in shipping and custom stuff. You're probably gonna get this like out the door 900 USD. And with that, all you're gonna need to do is add your cards. It comes with everything else you need. What it's using as the power supply is a Bitmain APW3++. Okay, so you know, we made a deal with the devil here on the power supply, but the way this motherboard is set up, it's, this is the way to go. It's rated for you know 1600 watts, 120 volt to 240 volt. So you can run this on any kind of electric setup really around the world there. Again, so this rig setup has literally everything we need except for the actual cards. So what we're doing is you can actually have it preloaded with SMOS. So that's what we did, but I reflashed a version I had onto the card anyway. And SMOS, Simple Miner, we have a video on the setup for that. And it's gonna work for NVIDIA cards or AMD cards. We're doing AMD cards here today because when you're getting these deals for these cards, right now AMD cards are kind of the better buy. And NVIDIA cards a little jacked up. The outlook on Equihash is looking a little questionable right now. It's a wild time. We just uh, covered our video on the Equihash ASIC miner a couple days ago. Check that out. Speaking of uh, previous uh, previous videos, we also did a video with Joey when he built out his 1060 rigs back in December. That was a couple days before Tails got sick, but as you see here, Tails is crushing it today. So when you use a pre-built rig like this, it's it's really fast and easy. I think these are great applications for someone who's new to rig building or looking for just something quick, easy. Also, farm deployment. Imagine if you got a bulk deal that made these really competitive. Then, I mean, I would love to build out a farm of these as opposed to all the tedious work that goes along with an open air rig. And don't get me wrong, I love building open air rigs. So right now, Joey's putting the uh, power cables in. And this, this is a good point. This box, it comes with uh, six plus two pins and it comes with eight of them. So if your card has, you know, needs two connections, you're gonna need splitters and you're, I don't know if I'd really recommend that. I'd really would ideally only recommend um, to use cards that have just one single eight pin so you're not relying on a ton of splitters in there. So the build's pretty simple and straightforward. Joey actually just already completed it. And I mean, what did that take you, Joey? Like 10 minutes max? Maybe five, yeah. Yeah, but see, the speedster <laughs> over here. Uh, so you're probably like, well, what's left in the video? We're gonna go into some of the tuning aspects of building a RX rig, specifically these 580s. So we've actually already BIOS modded one so we can compare what a stock card does compared to the one click BIOS mod, which not to reference another past video we've done, but we do a lot of videos here on the Voscoin channel. We have a full video guide on how to one click BIOS mod your AMD cards. And it's, it's really easy, really simple. You can do it, trust me. 
I was, you know, it's it's a little bit of a deterrent to get into these AMD cards because of that. But I'm telling you, seriously, it's easy. If you got a Windows computer anywhere where you can plug these cards in, you'll be able to make it happen. All right, so we're gonna throw the lid on here, get it synced up, tuned up to SMOS, and start messing with some overclock figures. So far, we have Micron and Hynix memory inside of these. So we got it all buttoned up. The top is just held on by six screws. And I didn't mention this earlier, but there's four intake fans and four exhaust fans and you've got this power supply. You could even just throw it hit right here on top. The rig, actual rig case doesn't get hot at all because it's moving so much air, cooling every, every component inside off that you can just put this up here and make your footprint of this mining rig even smaller, which is really cool. And then also, as you see right here, the whole actual CPU RAM is all integrated into the motherboard through a PCIe slot. So it's a pretty cool and unique setup. They're not the first ones to ever put out something like this, but it's a very good execution of that. All right, so I had to reshoot this clip because I've been fine tuning the rig we built while we're building this other rig. So if you're watching this video, then this rig build is coming soon. And on that, we've been tuning it further and further. We've got 1200 on the core, 11, or excuse me, 2275 on the memory, 1000 core undervolt and we're running the power stage seven and all of these cards are pushing over 32 mega hash a second with the one click bios mod which is wild we've got a rig i mean this is very impressive numbers as far as i'm concerned very minimal tuning one click bios mod it's almost like out of the box you just have a bitmain e3 killer right without the bios mod all these cards are pushing 31 Point 0.1, point 0.2 mega hash a second, which again, that is a very impressive mining performance out of the box. All right, everyone, so that is the rig build. These pre built rigs are so easy, plug and play, go, go, go. And on that, you can see we're up and running, start to finish. This is a rig build. You can include your tuning and troubleshooting to be all within an hour. That's pretty crazy. So, with that in mind, right now all these numbers are on Big Bad Ethereum with the recent price pump in Ethereum. It's a pretty good to mine right now. And it's actually taken back the lead from Monero the last time I checked, but here are some updated calculations if you want to base your life around calculations. But the most important thing you could base your results on would be real life results. So also, make sure to stay tuned with the Voscoin channel because we're going to be tuning some AMD rigs to put out maximum hash on X16R. That would be Ravencoin. If you checked our video, not to reference yet another video we did, but if you checked our video, we did that with NVIDIA rigs and it was making a killing with 1080 Ti's. But what about Team Red? I mean, come on, I'm wearing a red shirt, Team Red, baby. So with that said, make sure to subscribe. I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. If you're wondering what the Mining Cave GPU box sounds like, it's actually a very, pretty low, respectable sound. It's a little hum, it's, it's not annoying. And it's something you could definitely deal with within your house. Um, all right, just run the power cord, bro, you forgot. <laughs> you forgot, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. Totally forgot. Oh, you're right, I'm done. <laughs> it's, it's that easy to build this thing. Boom.